Keepers need to be quick, agile. I like my chances. The Harry Potter franchise is the gift that keeps on giving. Just when you think you've exhausted all Potter knowledge available, you'll learn a little more. Like, for example, there are 10 celebrities that you forgot or didn't notice were in the movies. Thankfully, we've got them all here for you right here, right now, on Listed. Kicking it off at number one with actress, dancer, singer, and all-around triple threat Julianne Hough, who, on the 20th anniversary of Harry Potter, the Dancing with the Stars star posted this gem to Instagram with the caption, Happy 20th anniversary, Harry Potter. Remember that one time when I was 11 and a Gryffindor? Oh, and apparently liked flirting with the Weasley twins? Hashtag, I've always loved redheads. Hashtag, Gryffindor. Hashtag, Harry Potter. Hashtag, first film. But not to be outdone by his sister, our number two, Derek Huff, told people that he was also in the movie, although he was a Ravenclaw. I was in the Great Hall. I was a Ravenclaw. I had the tie, I had the scarf, I had the robe and the patch, and I stole it all. <laughs> I was like, this is going to be worth something one day. I'm going to push this in here, which is really a big, big no-no. And I took the silverware from the Great Hall as well. Naughty, naughty, Derek. In the same interview, he spilled some more behind-the-scenes tea, sharing that his sister Julianne had a crush on Daniel Radcliffe and even gave him a Valentine's Day card. Julianne had a crush on him and, and gave him like a Valentine's with like a, like a, with a, a bear and... I think he like winked at her and she was like, he loves me. <laughs> the two siblings aren't the only Dancing with the Stars alums who have appeared in the series. Co-star Mark Ballas was also featured in the Sorcerer's Stone in the Sorting Hat scene. He opened up about the scene saying, you gotta be quick to see me. It's at the Sorting Hat, the scene at the Sorting Hat, real quick. I had the grungy red hair and the braces and I'm in the Hufflepuff outfit. He has admitted, however, that he ended up being a Hufflepuff and he wanted to be a Gryffindor or a Slytherin. Don't we all? Coming up next, before Alfred Enoch was starring as Wes Gibbons on How to Get Away with Murder, he was the adorable Dean Thomas in all of the Harry Potter movies. Hello, Harry. Hi, Hagrid. Whoa! Sorry. And although Dean Thomas's character is really explored in the Deathly Hallows book, the movie just didn't have the time to do it. Alfred understood, though, saying there's so much to put in, but obviously you can't, so stories like that don't get to be explored. Thankfully, he gets plenty of screen time on how to get away with murder. Now, you might recognize loyal matriarch Caitlin Stark from Game of Thrones as another awesome mama in the Harry Potter series. Michelle Fairley had a small appearance as Hermione Granger's mother in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Now, now she may have forgotten Hermione, but we haven't forgotten her. YouTube star Zoella is another celeb who was a child extra in the Harry Potter films. In a blog post from 2009, she said, I was 10 when they first started filming for the first film, and my primary school is in the village they used. So they came and asked everyone in my year, which was probably about seven children, if we wanted to be extras. And of course, we said yes, I was in Hufflepuff. She was ultimately cut out of the movie, but you can spot her in this extended Snape's potions class scene. Copying this down. She is that girl with the short hair and the ponytail sitting behind Ron. And she was definitely a cursed child as she was also originally in the Chamber of Secrets as a student on the Hogwarts Express but was again cut out. In an MTV interview she dished, we also got to mingle with the cast. We watched Spider-Man with them. Devin Murray, who plays Seamus Finnegan, asked me out. I said no. I was 10 years old and boys scared me. Now Scarlett Byrne, who you probably know as Nora Hildegard from The Vampire Diaries, was the third actress to play schoolyard bully Pansy Parkinson. She joined the franchise for The Half-Blood Prince and stayed through until the end. How supposed to me? If Scarlett looks familiar, it's because she played Pansy Parkinson in some of the Harry Potter movies. British heartthrob Freddie Stroma showed up in The Half-Blood Prince as handsome Cormac McLaggen. You might recognize the handsome fella now as the Bachelor lead in Unreal, as Luke from Pitch Perfect or from the time travel hit Time After Time. He even had a one-off role in Game of Thrones. Oh, feelings, Weasley, all right? Oh, feelings. Yeah, I'll be going after Keeper as well. It's something personal. 
Let's just say we are never disappointed when he graces our screens. Jamie Campbell Bower played a younger version of a Harry Potter villain Grindelwald before hitting it big time, and following his appearance in the first Deathly Hallows, the actor went on to star in both parts of the Twilight Saga and the young adult movie The Mortal Instruments. And last, but certainly not least, before Jesse Nelson was a songstress in Little Mix, she was a child actor. In an interview on Australian radio, Jessie revealed that she was an extra in the Yule Ball in Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Oh boy, that must have been one unforgettable set to be a part of. Well, that's all we've got for this episode of Listed. And were you surprised to learn about any of these actors appearing in the franchise? Let me know all your thoughts in the comments section below, and be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for hanging out with me here on Clever News. I'm your host, Zoe Lilliam, and I'll see you next time.